welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. Today's video is a collab. It's part of an open collab with Amanda over at Mom's Messy Kitchen, Missy over at The Welder's Wife, and Stephanie over at Home Sweet Stephanie. If you haven't checked out all of their channels before, they will be linked down below, as well as the link to the playlist. There's going to be tons of Thanksgiving side dishes in this collab. So for this Thanksgiving side dish, I wanted to to do something that my entire family loved. Last year I tried a broccoli casserole. I had never made one before but I tried it and it was delicious. Everyone loved it. My kids eat it. My husband ate it. My brother loved it. My brother's a big, big broccoli lover anyway but he loved it and my sister and everybody just said it was so good. There wasn't even enough for everybody. I doubled the recipe and there was none left after Thanksgiving. So I'm going to be making like the recipe today but for Thanksgiving if you have a lot of people we have like 16 to 20 people I think usually closer to 20 I think that includes kids and as I said it was completely gone so I would definitely double it or even triple it but doubled it fits perfectly in a 9 by 13 so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we need and then we will start making it. For this broccoli casserole you're going to need two 10 ounce bags of broccoli thawed and drained one box of stuffing mix prepared according to the box directions, one can of cream of chicken soup, eight ounces of Velveeta cheese, and salt and pepper. As with any other recipe that I share on my channel, the full recipe will be linked down below in the description box. Starting off by cubing up the Velveeta cheese, then I'm going to add it to a pot over medium-low heat with the cream of chicken soup. I'm going to stir this frequently until it's all melted. While the cheese sauce is melting, I'm going to go ahead and add my broccoli to my baking dish. I like to use my scissors and cut the broccoli into smaller pieces. Then I will season it with salt and pepper. Once the cheese sauce is all melted, I pour it over the broccoli and stir it all together. This recipe would work best in an 8x8 dish or if you double it, a 9x13 works perfectly. Finally, I'm going to top the broccoli and cheese with the prepared stuffing mixture. Then this is going into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And that is going to wrap up this video with the broccoli casserole. As I said at the beginning, this was part of a collab. So make sure you check out those links down below. And if you're new here and you like my videos, you like other kinds of food videos, I do what's for dinners, grocery hauls, and cleaning videos, all kinds of things related to being a stay at home mom. If you like that kind of thing, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.
Thank you.